so that happened, <laughs> it happened pretty fast. So I went from, actually it was, it was kind of crazy. I went from pre a pretty good high school player playing all the way around. And then I got to Washington and, you know, luckily I was brought up playing a lot of positions because actually when I first got to Washington, they wanted me to be a setter. So still pretty small as a setter, but uh, I was playing in the front row, you know, and it's a lot different from being a libero. But what happened was my coach, uh, he, saw, he saw that I was a good passer and a good defender. So after the first season, uh, he switched positions. He, you know, he took me on the side when no one was in the gym and he served me a couple balls. <laughs> I think he wanted to make sure that his assumption wasn't way off. So in secret, we were, um, I was practicing passing. And up until that time, at least when I was at Washington, I didn't pass at all. So uh, that's kind of when I made the transition. So through a coach, actually. Um, and I was also in the position where if I wanted to play that, to put myself in the best position to actually play, I needed to change positions because we had an older setter um, and we, we would compete against each other, but if I wanted a better chance, then I had to switch. So not really my choice, uh, but I'm thankful because I'm libero now. <laughs> and I think if I would have been a setter, I'm not really sure actually how far I would have gone. You know, who, who really knows, but um, I always thank my coach for that. <laughs> right. Uh, now, no. I like, I like the position I play now. And what is kind of cool is sometimes in my position, I have to set. So even though I change positions, sometimes I still need to rely, rely on my other skills, I guess, that I have. So, you know, not so much the other way around. If I was a setter, I wouldn't be playing too much defense and passing, I guess. So it worked out. I guess one of the biggest things for me is the highs stay high, but the lows become really low. So winning is always fun, but then that one time you lose, it, it gets worse and worse. So having to battle that and um, feeling that difference over, especially in college, that's actually when I first realized is my first year I was at UW, we actually won the national championship. Um, I wasn't playing a lot. But I was part of the team, um, and we trained together, and you know we put a lot of work in. So that was pretty high right off the bat. Then the next year, we won a lot of really good, important matches, and then we lost in the final four. And of course, when you're 19 years old, that's just the end of your life. You know, <laughs> it's so sad, and that's all you know. So the lows become pretty low, and then the next year. Um, our team was a little bit better. We won, again, we won a lot of important matches, really exciting. And then we lost early in the NCAA tournament and that low became a little bit lower. Where just meaning it, it hits you harder. Um, the more time you put into it, not reaching your goal, it hurts a little bit more. That's all, I'm not saying it gets like, it's not that serious, but it gets, you know, a little bit lower and then um, my, la or my fourth year, but actually my third year, because I walked on and I redshirt. My third year of competing, same thing. We won a lot of tough matches, and we made it to the Elite Eight. Um, so it's right before the Final Four, and we lost. And we're, um, for those of you who know, we, we were up two games and ended up losing in five. So that's like one of the worst ways. Well, worse is losing in three, but when you've, you know, when you've gone up and then you lose, it's, it's devastating. So at that time, 20 years old or however old, that's all I knew. So even more so, I'm like, gosh, my life sucks. And, you know, it's just the biggest thing in your life at that time. So, um, you know, lows are getting lower. But at the same time, you are accomplishing more. So over a period of time, the mentality just changes a little bit. What you're working on, um, the things that you're thinking about before a match and during a match definitely change. It becomes more technical. So having to do with skill. And then as you get older, maybe strategy. So in, that's, in volleyball sense, that's how that's changed. And then now, 
now you, you know, if you think about your skill too much now, it'll mess you up. So you have to rely on what you know and what you've done over the past years. And you have to feel confident in what, you know, what you have, the skills that you have. So playing for the national team has taught me a lot where you just have to be confident. And when we play teams, you can tell who's confident and who's not. It's real apparent, and I think even though everyone's good at this level, you can still tell the mental part of it is um, setting a lot of teams, uh, I guess, sending teams in different directions. So uh, to be specific, when I'm playing, I'm trying to help my team as much as I can. I'm trying to be a really good teammate. I'm always working hard, so I'm always trying to figure out how to work hard. Um, how to play my best at all times. Um, so those things to be specific, but for sure over, you know, over seven years has changed drastically.